event has started for us right babe yes that's right what's the name of the event it's bird on wonders yeah and we are also in a new place here in australia where are we babe we are in hobart yes we are in hobart we are in hobart airport upgrade uh, no, it's not upgrading, but it's upgrading soon. But yes, we have arrived to Hobart mm -hmm. in Tasmania and we are here to play yes. the new event, the Verdun Wonders and the new Zarut Special Research event, which is kind of ticketed. Yeah. All right, so hi, hi to all of you guys. Hi, guys. All right, so let's go to bring my screen up and show you guys uh, that we have this special research available. Just want to say a huge thank you to our friend, Joan Eclair, for thank sending you. us the ticket. Thank you very much. All right, so we've got tasks to do though, but before we do that, let's go ahead and check out under Lick Duck. Quack, quack over here. Mm -hmm. All right, so the event is from 21st to the 25th of March. However, this uh, event is ticketed, which is quite unfortunate. All right, so the Rogue of the Jungle returns. When we say returns, it's because three years ago, roughly three and a half years ago, the Zarut was released into Pokemon Go because of the movie and we were able to get it. Um, however, the IVs of mine is really, 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 really bad. And I'll show you guys that later on. And also, we have shiny Flababies all available and also the brand new Cottony Weave. With the flower. Yeah, it's so nice. We actually caught a few already, which I'll show you guys. Okay, the costume debut and whatever Pokemon here as for the ones that are spawning in the wild. As for few research, these are the ones that are available. We have the monkeys, the regional pen champ, the pen monk families available. Alright, you have to catch 15 Pokemon to get that. As for the special research, that's that. As for the collection challenge, those are the Pokemon we need to catch and we have to evolve them also. I'm kind of done with them already. This is the shiny for what's available. Alright. Right, so let's go back to the game. All right, the reason why I'm done is because uh, on our way here, when we were still in the airport in Melbourne, we actually had a gold plus and caught quite a few of the Pokemon. I'll show you guys the Cottony over here first. All right, Cottony there. See, this is caught here in Hobart. I incensed this. And then in Tasmania, and then this one also in Tasmania. Great, in Melbourne, we caught that just now before we actually aborted our flight. So let's go ahead and check out the special research over here. We've got to complete five few researches and also uh, catch 25 uh, grass type Pokemon and evolve three grass type Pokemon. Yeah. So I've already completed three of the few researches here. Two of these are catch uh, 15 Pokemon. We got Pansage. Awesome. Yeah. Provided I can hit the monkey, please. Okay, thank you very much. We've got to catch the next one. Right now, we are actually uh, going to catch the bus, the sky bus, to actually make our way to the central of uh, Hobart. And tomorrow, we are going to have a full day to ourselves, but uh, we are planning to do a meetup also. For those of you who are here in Hobart, see you guys probably at the Royal Botanical Gardens for the meetup. And then as for Saturday, it's going to be Primal Groudon. Primal Groudon yeah. is held on Saturday, not Sunday. So, um, hope to see you guys there. Alright. Um, anyway, we have to evolve one more Grass-type Pokemon first. I'm just going to evolve a Shroomish over there. Alright. You great? I thought that's an announcement for us. But all good. I heard something, something Pokemon. Sorry, my, 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 my ears are just hearing Pokemon uh, every day. That's it. But... Uh, Anyway, um, the weather here seems to be really good. Uh, people were telling us that it's going to be really cold. We checked the weather. Yes, it will be the coldest for our entire trip. But the sun is uh, shining now, down on yep. us right now, which is good. I don't feel cold at all. So now we can finally claim the rewards. Awesome. We can claim this. And I'll show you guys my Zarut from the past. <laughs> you guys will really, really laugh at it, man. Yeah, I'll show you the Zarut first before I continue mm -hmm. that. Look at this. All right, Bay, you see this? Yes, I see you it. You know the IVs of my Zarut? Can I see? Okay, oh, you want to okay. see? Okay, it's already powered up to level 40, okay. not 50. <laughs> Look. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, mine. 10, 11, 10. Yeah. That is technically the second worst possible or third worst possible IVs you can get. I guess mine's because better. Definitely. I have 15, 12, 10. <laughs> yeah. Because the minimum IV will be 10, 10, 10. So I was hoping to get myself a good IV Zarut. Hopefully I can get one, uh, you know, for myself. As it's a very good Pokemon in the Master League. Um, because of its typing grass and dark, you basically can use it to counter Kyogre very easily. You can use it to counter even Giratina relatively easily too. Especially Giratina running a double Ghost Charge move instead of running a Dragon Pulse at all. So uh, we have Professor Willow saying hi to us. Sorry, sorry, I need to close that tab. I do not want that to be open. Alright, great. I still have a lot of things that I need to do also. But I'm going to complete this special research with you guys. Alright, got to 
Explore 5 kilometers, catch 20 dark time Pokemon Evolve 3. We'll do that off camera, but the Explore 5, we'll clock that as much as we can right now. But we're gonna take the bus to the central. Let's go. Hopefully that will clock us some distance. I'm clocking some distance, guys. I'm also pushing the luggage. See? <laughs> I'm clocking. I'm clocking the distance, guys. Yeah, one step at a time, okay? Say bye to our bus. Bye bye. Yeah, we just came out from the bus, guys. We made it. We arrived yep. to the city center, and here's how it looks like. Oh my god, there's so many Pokestops here. There it's so are. insane, guys. All right, I actually did check Campfire to see where the gyms are because I'm planning for the Primal Groudon Raid Day. So there are a lot of gyms here, which then I've already planned a route to actually do a total of 18 gyms raids in one hour. Hopefully uh, we can do that or maybe uh, we will do less than that, but it's fine. But I normally plan more than what we I anticipate that we will do so that we will then have enough gyms to go after. So um, the route is going to be really interesting as it's going to be um, very optimized. Alright, and you guys can see actually the interactive radius is really, really big over here because we are exactly 4,700 plus kilometers away from the equator of the Earth, making the interactive radius look very big. Alright, so anyway, I just want to show you guys that I'm still not done with the special research. <laughs> but I got myself my first shiny. I what think is it? It is a bronze ore. Okay, but it's the cottony. <laughs> yeah, no, not the cottony. The cottony, I, I, I mean, you have heard me like <laughs> say something. But yeah. my first shiny over here, really happy to get it. Um, I'm still gonna incubate the eggs and do whatever I need to do. All right, but since we are here, we need to do our check-in first. All right, so that we have lighter. Then we go eat. And then we go eat. Yes, I'm very hungry. We're all very hungry. Yeah, we're gonna come here to eat seafood. But I'm here to just seafood also. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna seafood and maybe eat some seafood. We will seafood. Hi guys! Um, it's a very lazy day for us. But because we just wanted to chill for today, I just want to show you guys that uh, we have Tapu Lele over here that just hatched. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's currently already 6.42pm. I do not know how long it has been since the last clip, but I'm still not done with the 5km to explore because uh, we actually had a very, 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 very long lunch. <laughs> yeah, we did. In fact, it was a very long late lunch and then eventually we went to have some ice cream and just chill and, yeah. uh, and uh, just walk around here. Mm -hmm. Very nice place here in Hobart, but um, I guess um, it's also getting really cold. Yes, so I'm going to have to take out my jacket soon. But uh, you know, Tapu Lele is back into a race and I have not gotten myself the hando. So it would be nice if I can get myself the hando. <laughs> Alright, she has already gotten herself the hando CP1996 yes. when we actually went to Kuching last time in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. But um, I've gotten myself the shiny, but I actually would like to get myself the hando so hopefully i can get that we need to invite Let's friends babe. i am yep there are actually players here we actually um, did a few um, raids and we actually saw some leros uh, being put down by other players too mm -hmm. so we did raids like um, the tier one this and that and we saw there were other people raiding it too uh -huh. wow, oh we have a friend and he remoted for this andro he's not here he remoted for it Alright, let's go ahead and invite another uh, group of uh, friends and then we will go ahead to take this down by ourselves. Andro, please help us. Make sure let's you go. use your power. Thank you. Okay guys, the battle is about to start. Yeah, we got a very nice uh, backdrop behind of yeah. us. We're basically next to the port. And uh, we've noticed a few things though. The port over here seems to be, um, I guess, a very old uh, port, but it's not operating anymore. But there are a lot of seafood places around us. Yeah. Um, tomorrow wise, we actually uh, would want to go to the botanical gardens and we will go there and walk. Uh, the play area here, I would say, is way better than what we expected. <laughs> so many Pokestops, so many that gyms, and uh, no raids for us to do too. But uh, we're going to take this uh, Tapu Lele down. It's currently weather boosted for it because it's windy in game right now. So I do not know what's the CP for the Hando. <laughs> but the non weather boosted one is 1996. Yes, but we'll yeah. figure that out together. Alright, we will go ahead and take this down. It's really down to half health. Number one counter against it is Shadow Metagross. Of course, you can use a Mega too if you want to take it down faster, such as, I guess, a Mega Gengar which is definitely probably the, the um, highest DPS Pokemon against Tapu Lele. Mm. Alright, of course you can use a uh, Nihilego too. Nihilego with Poison Jab and also Sludge Bomb actually it does super effective to Tapu Lele but you're gonna get hit super effective damage from the uh, Psychic type moves. So using uh, Shadow Metagross is definitely the way to go. Alright, can't imagine when uh, Shadow Ultra Beast were to come in the future man. You know Shadow Nihilego, Shadow Katana, that would be so insane. But when is that coming though? We're not too sure. 
All right, maybe another five years or ten years from now. All right, so the tapu lele is down. What's the yep, CP of yours? Let's see. Oh, oh. it's set to four four four. Okay, two four four four. Thank you very much, guys, for coming in. And Andrew also came in. Andrew and Andrew also came in. <laughs> right, three two one. Let's go. And not shiny for me. Yours is two four four four. You see? And hers is not shiny, it's 2444. Mine is definitely not Hando because hers is 2444. Yeah. I don't remember 2444 being the Hando, so. True, me too. This is definitely not a Hando, guys. We're gonna continue to walk. We're almost at the place where we're gonna do the meet up for the Groudon Red Hour. Thank you very much. Um, but we're gonna go there and just uh, recce a little bit. Let's go. Alright, guys, we have made our way to the park. St. David's Park. This is where we'll be doing the. Primal Groudon Raid Day. This is the starting point. Over here, you guys can see there's a gym over here. For those of you who are interested to join us for the Raid Day, see you guys here at King's George 6 Memorial Plaque. Yeah. She just got herself a shiny cutie fly. I Go Plus! It. It's my first yeah. one. Yeah. Yay! My goodness. I remember hunting for this and you got it. Yep. Anyway, look for that gym and also look for this particular Pokestop over here, the Rotunda. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for the interruption. But uh, for those of you who are joining for the Primal Groudon Red Day, see you guys here on Saturday, mm -hmm. all right, on the 23rd of March. So let's go ahead and continue though. I've already uh, finished that. Yeah, we can claim that. We accidentally claimed the Great Balls, but it's okay. We got ourselves a Zigzagoon. Uh, let me go ahead and change to the Great Ball instead. Awesome. Let's go ahead and fast catch that. And now we can proceed on to the next stage, and that is stage three. Oh my god, it's already 7 p.m. and I'm still on stage 3 only. Brandon, you are so lazy, but not mm -hmm. to worry. The next few stages will be much easier. I've already checked the lead duck. So we've got to spin 25 Pokestops, power up 5 grass type Pokemon and make an excellent throw. Let's go ahead and power up the grass type Pokemon first. Let's go here, let's go here, let's go ahead and type grass and we can select either one of them. We're gonna uh, power up the Skido. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, Skido has been powered up again. Let's work on the other two tasks and then we will be done. Mm -hmm. Hopefully by then. Let's go. Alright, guys. Mm -hmm. We are done with the third stage and we are here we are walking around an area which is similar to how a pokemon sound like where are we bae we are in salamang ka place all right sounds like salamence salamence place yeah anyway i'm done with the third stage let's go to claim this we are just walking the route to see how the route is like to actually walk for the primal ground on raid day Seems to be nice to walk and we actually uh, came to the supermarket here to check things out. But uh, you know, this is not the exact route, but um, we'll be walking a total of uh, 18 gyms if possible. Um, let's go ahead and claim this. Alright, let's see. Normally what I do is, you know, when I go to a place that's new, especially when you're planning for raid day or raid hour, if I have the time and the energy to do it, I will actually go and walk the route uh, by myself to see and uh, test the route and see if the walking terrain is a uh, good for a group of people to walk together. I mean, walking alone and walking with like, you know, more than uh, 50 people is, is very different, especially when we have to cross the road, when we have to um, see if there are steps, etc., which we have to overcome. Yep. Anyway, we're gonna use five super effective charge attacks. Great, because a gym over here. Power, power up five Pokemon, type. Uh, five duck type Pokemon, and use 10 berries, which I'll do so later on, but let's go ahead and power up our duck type Pokemon. There's only one duck type Pokemon I have on my up list, and that's Ponya. We're gonna power that one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Was it ten? No, 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 it was just five, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. We are done with that. And we're gonna continue to walk and uh, see what we can see around get us. Get more shinies. More shinies for me. me. <laughs> okay, guys. We just climbed up the hill. And there's a heat more here. There's also a raid here. And there's a reason why we needed to come to the raid. It's because the next stage, stage 5, we actually got to do three raids. It's not a shiny, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and claim this first. Are you done with your task? No. Not yet? No. Alright. She can chill because uh, she doesn't need to get it done um, now because uh, it's a special research. Mm -hmm. So you can complete it anytime. But you know, for me, I normally try and do it and show you guys how it's done. Alright, uh, okay, we gotta win three raids, we gotta catch, catch 15 team. different species of Pokemon and defeat five team Rocket Grunts. Oh my god, that's okay. not gonna be good. Now we're gonna fight the first uh, raid over here first. Then we will see how we can fight the first Grunt, which I do see one on the left. Mm -hmm. We walk towards there. Let's enter the first raid. Once I'm done, I'll let you guys know. Yes! We are done. I'm done, bae. 
Great. Yeah, took <laughs> down the last grunt. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, stay in the ball. <laughs> Alright, so I've defeated five grunts and also did uh, three raids. The one raid that we did, the Esper, we did it in person. The other two, we actually did two Tapu Lele uh, raids. Those were done remotely. Alright, I'll show you guys over here. Normally, I don't remote for any of the raids, but it's because I need to rush through the video, so I remoted for them. As you guys can see over here. I'm being very honest with you guys. You know, I, I do remote if I need it for content, like I said. Anyway, uh, we're going to claim the rewards now, right? We can go ahead to go here. Rope of the gar Jungle. I almost said Garden. <laughs> Alright, we can finally claim that we get 10 uh, candies for uh, Zarut and we get 3 extra XL candy later on. But let's go ahead to claim this. Let's see what this is. This is not the Zarut. It is Epso. Are you almost done with it, Bay? Um, actually, I'm on the third one. Probably. Okay, all good, all good. Let's go ahead to claim this now. And uh, let's see what we get. Okay, Bay, look at this. It is shiny! 1616. 16. That looks a bit familiar. Um, I hope it is not the 10, 11, 10 again. I think the 10, 11, 10, I think it was 1, 5 something. So um, I think uh, this should be okay. I mean, what are the chances of getting another one that is like 10, 11, 10 or 10, 10, 11 or, you know, basically uh, ba poor IVs. So I'm going to catch this right now. Hopefully it stays in the ball. And after catching this, we actually do get ourselves extra 3 candy XLs, which is great. However, if you guys uh, notice the count for my candies and candy XL, they are already uh, at a very high amount, 8,515 and 217 for the XL candy, which means if I were to convert, I would have enough XL candy to power one up to level 50. But we're not going to do it to the first one, but maybe to this. Not bad. Okay, Better. I'm pleased. Mm -hmm. 14, 12, 12, I'll take it. That's one uh, I will definitely keep for now. But uh, hopefully we can have another chance to get ourselves another Zarut in the future. Initially, I thought it would come in the form of uh, Elite Raids because it is also double weak to Bark, being a Dark and uh, Grass typing Pokemon. However, um, you know, it's not. But uh, we will see how next time in the future. But that's it, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a... Leave a like, guys. And also remember to... Subscribe. And let us know in the comment section down below how's your Zarut IVs. And uh, if you guys uh, actually... Um, uh, played the event or not. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.